What's up guys, Ryan here from Mudgunner. I just wanted to do a quick video today kind of talking about some upcoming videos I have, specifically with these two guns, but we also have this Bren here. I showed it in yesterday's video. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some guns that I'm actually taking out shooting tomorrow to get some footage for upcoming videos. So the first one we have up is the SIG MCX Virtus. And I've shot this one before. I don't think I've actually ever done just a straight up Virtus video, but I've had this SIG Virtus for a few years now. And I recently took this SRD 7.62 can off my Rattler because it's kind of a pain. So if you watch some of my Rattler videos, I basically turned a SIG Rattler into an LVAW, which is low visibility assault weapon. It's just a military clone, but it looks sick. The issue is this can fits under the rail and it's kind of a pain to take the gun apart to clean because I have to take the, my light pad, pressure pad off to take the rail off to take the can off to clean it. So. Um, I'm switching this can on that with a Q half Nelson. So then it's direct thread and I can attach it and unattach it without taking the rail off. So that'll make it much easier maintenance on the Rattler and it'll lighten it up because this is a pretty heavy suppressor. So yeah, on future Rattler videos, we're going to have the Q can on the Rattler. And then I think this is going to stay on this Virtus in 5.56. So again, this is the SIG SRD 762. They don't make this suppressor anymore, but it is a 30 caliber can. And we're gonna run it on this 11 and a half inch 5.56 because I think it'll be pretty sweet. And in the video that I'm gonna show you guys this week, it's gonna be compared against my buddy's uh, Sig Virtus with a Q, I wanna say it's a Thunder Chicken. So he has a Thunder Chicken 30 cal suppressor on his Virtus and I'm gonna be running the 7.62. I have not ran my Virtus suppressed yet, but I'm excited to. And yeah, I think it'll be pretty low back pressure. It looks very cool. At some point, if I can get a 5.56 specific can, it'd be pretty cool, but then I don't have something to put this on. So let me know what you guys think. But I'm just kind of doing this video to show you guys a little glimpse of what I'm working on. And with my videos and like shooting content specifically, it's not like some of these other channels where they get thousands and thousands of rounds before they talk to you about the gun. My channel is more or less gonna be, I'm gonna show you how my progress is going. Cause I don't have six months to go spend on this gun to dump 10,000, 15,000 rounds through for you guys, um, that'd be really sweet, I just, I can't. So what I'm gonna do is every time I bring guns out to shoot, I just wanna show you guys my progress with them. And I don't wanna get, you know, 20,000 rounds on that gun in one year, cause then I'm expiring it pretty fast. I enjoy shooting all my guns and it's hard to shoot all of them that fast in a short time. So I think it'll be cool to just show you guys my progress over time with a gun versus, you know, you have 20 minutes of my last four years with this gun. I, I think that's a lot of information to put into a 20 minute video. Whereas if I just show you guys every time I bring it out shooting, you'll see if there's any issues along the way, see what I change along the way. And honestly, I'd like if more YouTubers did update videos on some of their guns. I, now, I don't watch every YouTube channel, but I'm sure there's some guys that do. But like, I'll watch some of the big channels like Grantham or T-Rex Arms or some of these other channels. I'm like, it'd be cool if they did an updated video on that platform because chances are things have changed on it. Their opinions have probably changed a little bit on it. But yeah, that's just my viewpoint on it. The other one right here is honestly got the most time on my channel besides my Honey Badger. This is a SCAR 16. So recently I got this L can for this gun from a buddy of mine. And then that kind of just launched a whole change on this gun. I was running an EOTech. I was running a Surefire Scout Light. I upgraded to the Scout Light Turbo. I pulled this PEC or this at PLC off one of my other guns that I was using for night vision. So now I wanna run this as my night vision gun. I just upgraded from a RC2556 suppressor to the 7.62 Mini. So this is also a 30 cal can that's gonna make it a little bit lower back pressure. So in the last two weeks, I changed the optic. I added the laser, changed the light, changed the suppressor. So yeah, now I have to re-zero this gun tomorrow, but honestly, I think this is gonna make me enjoy it a lot more. And uh, this has been one of my dream guns for a long time. I've actually thought about getting this like tattooed on my arm because I think it'd be pretty sick, but yeah. I think it's cool to kind of just see how guns progress over time. And I've looked at like old Instagram pictures or my old YouTube videos of this gun. And it's just cool to see how it's progressing. And also my audio quality. I watched my old SCAR 16 video and I was like, dang, just upgrading to a mic, the audio is 10 times better than just using my camera. And hopefully it shows for you guys when I shoot these guns suppressed. So yeah, we're gonna do a video on this. And at some point I'd like to do a lot of comparison videos between these guns. As they're gonna be, it would be hard to compare, oh, like this one's that much better than the next because I like them both and I'm not putting them through paces where they're necessarily gonna fail against each other. But I honestly enjoy a lot of specialty like piston guns. So I have like the SCAR, the MCX, the Bren 2, I have an 805 Bren, the Tavor, the FS2000. Like I collect a lot of the piston guns, the HKMR556. And 
I think it'd be kind of cool to just do some comparison videos between all of them, like, you know, just maybe two at a time because that'd be hard to do all of them in one video. But let me know what you guys would like to see because I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, again, I'm shooting these two tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna do a direct comparison video because I just need to get this thing zeroed and all that. But, and I wanna try this with the can on there because every time you change one thing on the gun, it can affect how it shoots or potentially how it performs as a whole. So yeah, just something to note if you start changing big components on your guns. And then I showed this in yesterday's video, but this is a CZ Bren 2. This one has an 11 inch barrel. I also have the 805 Bren, which is the first one, which is pretty cool. I'm not bringing that out tomorrow, but yeah, this one's pretty sick. Uh, my friend let me borrow a brace to test on there because we're gonna zero the iron sights. I don't have an optic setup for it yet, but let me know what you guys would like to see on this. At some point, I'd like to buy the factory stock and SBR this. And I think this would be a pretty sick competitor against the SCAR. And honestly, this trigger is so much better than the factory SCAR trigger. Like this, this trigger competes with the Geisley trigger that's in that gun right now. So yeah, it's a super nice trigger for this Bren. I've always liked the Bren. Again, I have the 805, which is the first gen. And that one's sick. It's also a pistol. I need a stock for it, a flat dark earth stock, if anyone knows where to get one, because they don't make them anymore. But yeah, I want to SBR that as well. And then I have a Surefire War Comp on here. We're probably gonna put a Surefire Suppressor on here at some point. So again, 11 inch CZ Bren 2 in 5.56. And yeah, it's just another gun to build up. I'm always working on a lot of projects, but I really enjoy shooting all these guns. Um, played a lot of video games growing up, not as much anymore, especially since I do daily YouTube videos, but I really enjoy having like built up guns that I played on video games as a child. and. Honestly, I like piston rifles more than standard ARs. I still love ARs. I still have a bunch of ARs, but I'd say piston rifles are my favorite rifles to shoot. So let me know what you guys think. Again, um, I have a few shooting videos coming out from you know these guns that I'll shoot and some others. If there's anything you'd like to see on the channel, just comment down below. And I appreciate all the support on the channel, guys. I see all the comments. I try to respond to as many as I can, but I can't hit all of them. But I do see it and yeah, let's see how far we can get this channel. Again, I'm posting every single day for all of 2024 and I'm excited to see where it takes us. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video.